How to pick a float. There's a huge variety of floats, but the principle of using the lightest suitable float should be kept in mind. Long floats for deep water or sinking line under surface tow. Short floats for shallow water. Wider, more buoyant floats for controlling suspended or floating baits, especially in fast moving water. Fish are often close in, making pole floats ideal, even on a rod and reel. Casting a line requires a heavier float. The heavier the line, the heavier the float. The same float will cast almost twice as far on three pound line than it will six. Floats attached at one end are called wagglers and best suited to still or slow water. Thicker tips offer more stability in the wind and better visibility at distance, but compromise bite sensitivity. The thinner the tip, the better. Top and bottom attached floats can be managed better with the rod and line. For example, a stick float as it moves through flowing water or pole float as it's held against wind or tow.